Hey everybody, Jay Barino here. Welcome back. We're playing Age of Empires 2 Definitive Edition. It's the Attila the Hun campaign on Mission 4, a barbarian betrothal. We're halfway through. The Western Roman Emperor had a sister named Honoria, who after weary years of confinement to her parlor, made the preposterous decision to send a letter to Attila the Hun. She asked him to marry her. One suspects Honoria did not know what she was getting into. Attila was plentifully supplied with wives, but he immediately saw the advantage that such a union could put him in. Suddenly, his plans changed. He would not invade the Eastern Roman Empire at Constantinople, but the Western Empire at Rome. Indeed, he claimed half of the Western Empire as his dowry. Attila sent the Huns to march across the Rhine River and made alliances with the other barbarian chieftains. Some, named the Burgundians and Ostrogoths, joined the Hunnic Confederation, while others, such as the Visigoths, sought to seek Roman favor by opposing the Huns. When Attila entered the Roman province of Gaul, he could claim that he merely sought by force what was his by right of betrothal to Honoria. Sure, a marriage proposal is Cassus Belli for half the Roman Empire. Western Roman Empire, excuse me. Defeat Burgundy, defeat Metz, defeat Orléans. Huns are restricted to a pop limit of 150, but can finally advance to the Imperial Age. Your forces begin scattered. Look for a good place for an initial camp while avoiding wolves. In the dead of winter, forward sites are hard to come by, but there are hungry deer to be found. You cannot match the Frankish technology, but you do have the strength of numbers. Unleash the horde upon the cities of Gaul. Frankish technology is typically hand cannoneers. I would be surprised if that's allowed given the time period of this map, but uh, you never know. And then their cavalry is better? I don't remember exactly what made their cavalry good. They just had more HP, maybe? After invading Gaul, the Huns begin scattered. They must regroup while avoiding stumbling too close to Burgundy to the south, Metz to the north, or the great city of Orléans to the northwest. Sounds like great city means main antagonist. Burgundy trains archery units, rams, and infantry, but is not well defended and might fall to an early attack. The Burgundians are easily intimidated and might even be persuaded to join the Hunnic cause. Interesting, so maybe we just need to attack them early and they'll fold, or we just have to wait. I'm not I'm not sure. Um, different things are, I don't know, I've experienced a lot of different things in Age of Empires. Metz makes up for Burgundy's weakness with an army of knights and throwing axemen. Their castle in proximity to Orléans offers them some defense. Orléans is a walled city protected by towers and castles. Spearmen, knights, monks. That does counter us pretty well. Maybe light cavalry would be a better option this time, I'm not sure. Scouts also report that the Western Roman Empire sending Aetius' army to reinforce Gaul, the Romans have no town in the area, but their legions and cavalry could strike at any time. I don't like the sound of that, and I don't like the look of this mini-map. We really are everywhere. Our forces are weak and scattered from recent attacks. We must regroup before we ravage the Frankish countryside. So we're looking for food. There's one. There's a couple deer here, probably not enough. There's some deer here. This actually looks better. Let's bring my units up here. I like that there's gold easily findable. I'm gonna go ahead and I guess set up in this general direction. And we have eyes on stone and gold a little bit further back. So I'm gonna set up like here. Wolves. So how about like... Okay. More wolves. I'm gonna set up here. Uh, and again, we've got eyes on everything else. We've already found Burgundy, and we're actually very close to them. There's some gold here, but that's probably a little too close to them. I don't want to trigger them to be aggressive with us. Yeah, good work, buddy. Got some really good eyes on pretty much everything already. We're going to maybe come and leave these guys back here. Do we want to go double TC? I feel like maybe a, a TC back here by the stone and gold would be good. It's a lot of gold up there. Actually, there's some stone right here as well. This would be a great spot. I can't fit it anywhere, though. Go ahead and just start hunting, and then one of you go ahead and build a mill. 
Doesn't really matter where. Right there's fine, as long as we can cram the farms. Actually, that's a terrible spot. Let's do it down here. I found some sheep. Let's see if we can get these back to base. You keep scouting, buddy. Do you have any idle workers? Nope, they're all working. And then I was... Did, wasn't I starting another TC? Or did that get cancelled? I mean, we started with a lot of stone, but not enough to actually build anything substantial, so... Um, what I could do is, like, wall this in if I wanted to. Okay, let's just get some farm started. It's offset. I'm sorry if that's bothersome. <laughs> okay, go help with hunting. And, you know what? It's a fine start. I guess let's save. I, s I think I still want to do double TC. It doesn't have to be super far away from what we've got set up here, but, like, specifically, we can set this up. Oh, yeah, that's right. I, I couldn't get anything there. Um, maybe up here? No. Let's do it. Why can't I not build any TCs where I want to? There, we'll, send one, we'll set one up way back there. I'm going to go ahead and bring my scout home. We've, we've found Burgundy. We found part of Orléans, which is right here. Now we have enough stone that I could probably I could probably wall this right here. We might want to wall all of this. Okay. It looks like a scouting knight. I don't like that. What I could do is maybe get some farm up farmed um, gold like sooner rather than later. The thing is we really just need to focus on food income and what we can do is get our cavalry um, our stable set up. I think what I will do, because again, we have some stone to start here, is just do this. That'll make me feel relatively safe. It's a lot of food here, but that's, again, pretty close to Burgundy. Don't bother with him, please. And once this is all hunted, what I'll do is go ahead and... Uh... Yeah, good work, buddy. Got stone and gold. We're going to need more gold for sure. For cab archers. It's a lot we need to do, and we again we started with virtually nothing, which I hate. Uh, return your food, please, and then let's do this. Really just need lumber. Just leave him alone. It's fine. It's one guy. <laughs> He's not going anywhere. Got boars up here. That gold is juicy. Again, starting from complete nothing is... is certainly a bummer. Not enough wood means we just need more guys on lumber. How are we doing over here? Yeah, good stuff. Yeah, I think we focus on stone for now. We can get a castle set up to, like, defend us behind this wall. Or maybe up here, actually. I uh, don't have enough wood for really anything right now. I think what I'll do is build one lumber camp here. For the upgrades, really. I guess I can hunt those, but I think we're like in a post-hunting age right now. I'm not sure. Seems like these folks are struggling to return their food. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and hunt these. We got a mill right here. And when they're done, we can set up farms. Keep making workers. Workers here. Lumber's coming in a lot better now. I'm going to go ahead and grab a stable. And get some more light cab out, because that's what we can afford. I 
Got to be careful we don't break through these trees to the point where they can like, get into our base. That would be not great. Uh, probably don't want to build too close to the wall here because they could start shooting over it to attack me, right? Uh, let's go. Yeah, let's get light cavalry. It's it's a lot of gold, but I think it's worth it. Lots of gold kind of in our back line here that we can focus on. More villagers there. Okay, one more thing to farm here. Let's get some light cav. Again, because we have decent food income, but not super great. We almost have enough for a castle, which I'm going to plop down probably right up here to defend this whole area up here where they can get to us, because it looks like Burgundy will come from us down here, but that's it. Oh my god, they've been chasing around this night for legitimate years. That's Town Bellet. Okay. Back to work. Okay, so yeah, they're attacking us from up there. I can go ahead and start my castle. Um, again, we could wall all this, and let's just get the castle going. Get these on gold. Looks like Burgundy's decided to just, like, randomly walk up and around this direction as well. We, again, we could wall all of this if necessary. Bone saw. Let's get it. Okay, let's get all those set up. Come on down here. And then I think, let's get a couple knights. Lumber income's okay to keep up with farms, I think. Don't, don't chase too far. Okay. The more I'm thinking about it, the more I do want to wall this, I think. That castle will make me feel a lot safer. What I'm going to do is grab a university so I can get murder holes pretty fast. Okay, they're really into sending crossbowmen at us. Get that husbandry going. You know what, all of you, I want you maybe over here instead. Okay, just like that, I feel incredibly safe. Let's get an archery range. How's this going over here? Almost done with that stone. We'll throw them on gold and then lumber. Not having to build houses is just so great. Probably want to get a blacksmith here pretty soon. I don't have any idle workers, but once these are done... Let's go um, blacksmith, and then let's go market. Murder holes. All right. So that's going fine. Let's go and grab gold shaft mining. You know what? Stop. Yeah, stop with this. We're going to send you over here for lumber. Do you have someone on assigned to you? Yeah, you do. Okay, good. This is strange. Why? It's like they're refusing to plant some... Oh, because I didn't have enough wood. I see. Okay, well, I got a, a nice little army here to, like, 
run around and protect us, I suppose. Um, let's go ahead and start grabbing this stone here as well. I don't have enough. I don't have enough lumber. That's what we need right now. Just lumber. Ballistics would be nice. It's a lot of wood that I don't really have. I am getting gold, which is great. This is, again, kind of a, a, a janky start, that's for sure. Okay, those only cost food, not any lumber, which is what we really need right now. What are we getting attacked by? Just... Just these jerks. Okay, this side over here is looking fine. Again, we're going to need more food eventually, so just keep throwing guys on lumber and then we'll transition them as we go. You know, I'm just casually letting them kill my workers. Good, good job. Get on top of them. Uh, cab archers would be great. Looks like we can also get super duper cab archers, but not right now. Alright, so that's being rebuilt. I think we've infuriated them. Like, we're too close to their main base and what they're doing. They're sending their defensive force at us, I think is what's happening here. We have the ability to heal out of combat. Castle's protecting us from red. Just avoid purple for now. We don't need to dive in there right now. I haven't even thought about moving out at this point. It just feels too early. I want to get up to um, Imperial Age as soon as possible. Again, I just need one monk. Heal me out of combat. I'll feel much, much better. Yeah, it just seems like normal knights are really doing it for us here. Light cavalry's fine, though. Okay, just stay away from them for now, please. We need a lot more food for Imperial Age. This guy has been chopping away at this part here for a long time. That's not really where I need you. Keep making villagers. Monk is done. No one to trade with. And it looked like my castle was perfectly fine against those uh, incoming red units. Definitely ballistics. And we need a thousand food. I'm hesitant to sell any gold. <laughs> Just move some lumberjacks off here for food. Please spare us your great hands. We would join you if you could only tribute to us 500 gold and then build a castle in our town to help defend us. What? Hang on, save. So, it wasn't like going and intimidating them, it was just waiting. It's very inconsistent. If I would have gone and killed them, which I don't know if I was capable of doing, but if I would have gone and killed them, this would have ended way earlier. So they want 500 gold? We appreciate your show of good faith. Now, if you build a castle within our town, we will know that you can be trusted. You have 10 minutes. Wow. So just... Just throw a castle down somewhere, like... I'm assuming within the flags, if I had to guess. So we'll do it there, right? Because this looks like it's like within the square of flags. And then when you guys are done, come on back here. It's a lot of stone that we've had to throw at them, but that's fine, I guess. 
Okay, my economy's looking good. We're not gonna need much more stone at this point. We've got our castle set up and I feel very safe. Next I look, where is red? Also having vision around the map is quite nice. This looks juicy as well. Okay, so my goal now is to tech pretty much as hard as possible. Right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna get my thousand food so I can go up to Imperial Age, and then we're just gonna go flipping ham. Yeah, they're not gonna get very far. It's a well-placed castle. So much of AoE 2, it seems like, is based on where your castle is placed. Which is, you know, fine. But it's, you know, a lot is dependent on that. I will say also at this point that food is going to become our major stopper. So let's just go ahead and get some more uh, farms. Because, like... We are not making a mistake, but for now, we ride with the hunt. Yeah, sure, dog. So they have halberdiers. This is why, like, our cavalry is going to get... I don't want to say roasted, but... Okay. As long as we kill their cavalry, or I'm sorry, their their halberdiers, then we can get in here and kill the scorpions with our cavalry. I can start getting Tarkins. I'm going to get some additional knights. We're waiting on Imperial Age. Just ignore the halberdiers. Let my castle deal with it. In fact, at this point, our castle can deal with everything. What was no key, man? And we're about to pop off. We really are. Um, leave, leave that, leave that worker alone. Okay, so you're all done. I thought I shift queued you to come back up here on lumber. Almost there. Did they kill? I guess workers down here too. Let's do, I mean, if you're gonna, if you guys are gonna take the long route, then let's do this at least. There it is. Okay, so you can see like 900 food for this. This is what I meant by food being our, our main blocker at this point. Okay, so we have to find where Mets is and then go for them. They're only going to be attacking us from up here, it looks like. Okay, so no food upgrades, no mining upgrades. What about lumber? Two-man saw, sounds good. Really no other massive upgrades. I think that would make a huge difference besides chemistry there. Everything else is just going to be upgrading our individual units. Okay, cool. So, Burgundy's going out. They'll scout for us. Again, I'm still looking for Red's actual base. Because this is Orléans. Where is Red? He said to the north. Are they, like, crammed way up there? Let's go look. I'm not aware of that. Uh, bracers? Yes. Get all those set up here. I guess let's take one knight and just run him. They must be way up there, or maybe they're behind the walls of Orléans. I don't know. In any case, like, I'm feeling really good. My economy's sort of popping off here. It's just like, I guess I can continue to make more workers. We want to come up here and maybe steal... Not steal, but, like, we're going to go for this gold up here next. And, like, I have a castle and enough of an army that I can continue teching pretty hard. Again, we need lots of gold and we need lots of food. I'm not sure if it's because, like, I ran out of lumber at a certain point to... 
to properly harvest from some of these farms. Okay, very nice. Monk, you can just stay at home. So again, we need a counter to Halberdiers, and I might actually, I know this is weird, but what I might go ahead and do is just make a normal barracks and get my own spearman. And get just like normal swordsmen to counter their pikemen. More food, please. I mean, we don't need that many guys on lumber anymore. I have enough for another castle. Yeah, they are, they're just sort of like up here. I just didn't actually have vision on them. The only way across, it looks like we can go up and around here and just go for it. So, um, can I make trebs? Yeah, I can. Relics and wonder victories take 100 years to complete. Enemy relics generate less resources. Don't care about that. We'll go conscription. We'll go Elite Tarkins. And then from our main castle, I'm going to get some Trebs. We don't need that many. I usually get like three or four of them to take down castles. We'll cover them with Knights, Paladins, etc., etc. What do I need for... Mostly gold at this point. We have a lot of workers on gold, so that shouldn't take that long to get. And I can sell some lumber. But again, you could just, it's like insanely expensive how some of this stuff is. But Imperial Age upgrades are, are just crazy. Again, our, our economy is pretty good. We have almost 60 workers. Which is over a third of our total supply. My workers just seem to be doing weird stuff when it comes to these, uh, these farms. I don't know what they're doing, but... I have all my blacksmith upgrades, which arguably I should have waited to do. And, like, now that I have Trebs, I don't know why I'd ever make Tarkins. Like, I know people think they're good, but at the same time, if I can just long-range kill everything with siege weaponry, why... Just why would I make anything else? So we need more stables and archery ranges. For those cav archers. And I think, like, in terms of cav archers, like, you don't need that many, but you need enough. You need enough such that you can, like, snipe individual units at, at will. Go paladin. You jerk. I guess we should wall this, huh? Go get him. Is he trying to steal workers? I mean, he's not going to be able to, but... Okay, I'm leaning towards wanting to wall this at this point. Yeah, they did. They stole one of my workers. You dopes. Okay, that's all right. Um, so we want to hotkey this. Mets advanced the Imperial Age. Probably should have gone for them faster. Okay. And then I guess what we want to do is... Like that. Okay, so we got Trebs. And we're going to start getting Cav Archers. Heavy Cav Archers. And then just queue up a bunch of them. We're going to cross the bridge and go for red first, I guess. Though it might be faster if we went for Oleon first. I don't know. Could also do rams. Perfectly fine. I'm like, yeah, sure. I can. If I can build Tarkin out of this building, I'll do it. So I should be able to cross this because it's not actual... Not an actual river. We have paladins now, and they're fully upgraded, so we're in great shape, I'd say. There's more stone up here if I need it, but I don't think I will. I just want to get vision on this and, like, draw them out to us and force them 
to come out and attack us. Right, so this is this is where we're at. Our trebuchets are more accurate as well. That's supposedly something that we, we have. We don't need to... We just want to protect the trebuchets that are killing the castle. Which they have now done. We got Tarkins, Paladins. I have like the super good Tarkins too, right? Elite Tarkins, yeah. And then they said, hit him with the horde. So that's what we're going to do. Just make a bunch of stuff. Uh, unpack, we'll move up. Maybe this is another one where we only have to destroy the town center? I think this has gone pretty well. I suspect, uh, if we would have tried to be more aggressive early, it wouldn't have gone as well. Plus, if we would have killed Burgundy, then we wouldn't have had the opportunity to have them join our side? Maybe? Anyway, we killed their castle, let's go for the TC, and that, in theory, would be, is, is all it takes. So, like, I'll mix Tarkins in here, but I don't think it's super necessary. I, yeah, I'll upgrade to Hazars. Looks like gold is going to be our major thing. Okay, so Cav Archers, you're hotkeyed. Paladins and Tarkins, you're hotkeyed separately. If I remember to add these to hotkeys, I will, but, like, it's, it's hard to keep up with that. Let's see if this causes them to resign. No, they're still building. Again, this is like the, the slow creep of protect the trebs. Okay, let's move up. Get some Tarkin, because they're relative... I guess the difference with Tarkin is they're, like, relatively cheap for the value you get out of them, which is anti-building. The issue is, like, do I really need anti-building? Siege, workshop, and barracks. Anyway, they've got, like, nothing left, so we're just gonna slowly wipe them out. We are being attacked by somebody, but I'm not sure who. Any other upgrades that we can get? I'll just grab all these at my barracks and just start getting, like, normal men-at-arms, I think. I think we can go up to two-handed swordsmen, which is good enough for, like, dealing with halberdiers, I think. We just need some meat in the front where that, that will engage with our cavalry. Now, I'm not sure what we need to do to actually force them to resign, and it seemed like previously... Let's go for the stable next. And it certainly felt like previously they they went with only their TC destroyed. But now we've got, you know, all this extra, you know, kill everything else to deal with. I guess the thing with Tarkins is they're way better at, like, hit and run. Which, you know, I don't know if that's super necessary or not. They keep building more stables. Oh, there's another TC, that's why. Let's just move the trebs up here. And then... It's hard to differentiate... I think these are Tarkins? Keep going, my friends. Right there. It's interesting. What's funny, I just realized, like, you can use your castle as, like, a weird makeshift gate if you really wanted to. I think this has gone really well. Decent on time, considering we started with nothing. I'm not a big fan of these start with literally nothing missions, but, you know, it is what it is. Kill our own guys. There we go, they resigned. Okay, so pack up. I guess grab more trebs. And, like, I also, I like rams, but, like, at a certain point, do I need to bother with rams? If I had, like, trebuchets are just, like, the ultimate... Siege unit here, so like, why would I bother with anything else? Alright, so this is gonna be dicey. And this is likely not the angle that we want to be attacking from. Alright, just pack up, engage. 
Hit said overwhelm them with numbers, he says, as he attacks right into Halberdiers. We're going to come down here instead. I am attempting to overwhelm with numbers. Good work, Burgundy. Destroying the player that's already resigned. Keep it up. And then... Oh, I can make my own halberdiers as well. Yeah, we're just going to do this. Oh, I'm concerned about the Romans that are going to appear as well. Seems like that's that's going to be really dicey, so we should be concerned. There actually might be a relic in here. Oh, this poor guy's trapped, isn't he? See, we have enough cab archers that we can kill those halberdiers before they get to us. Though the monks are a problem. Um, we got rallies coming up. Let's let's consolidate and make sure that we're actually building stuff. Ba -bum. Yeah, halberdiers. Up here, please. Never mind. Not up here. Not up here. Back up. Okay, not enough gold. There are several areas for gold elsewhere around the map. So yeah, I think we make our own halberdiers. And then again, we just have to overwhelm them with numbers. Good sell price on food. Okay. Don't rally up that way, please. Okay, so this time let's go across the bridge instead of trying to, like, go around this weird way. We destroy the gate and destroy the castle. We should be able to walk right in after that, and we just have to be able to contend with their main forces. Who keeps... Is there, like, a hidden monk somewhere that's doing this? I just don't know. Okay, goodbye, my friend. Okay, we're no longer rallying poorly, I don't think. Let's get another... Stables. Stable. Messed up my hotkeys. I just, again, I'm like throwing some Tarkin in here, but it just doesn't feel super impactful, honestly. Okay, we're gonna make our own halberdiers to protect our trebs. Of which we have two. We're gonna get some more after the Tarkins. I guess we'll come down here and get this gold. Looks like Burgundy's going to go and attack. Silly attack, but whatever. We got them off our back, which is the most important thing. And I, I think I have every upgrade that I need right now, so we just have to s slowly but surely wait. Yeah, we got those halberdiers coming up. There we go. Now we're building the real horde. It's a good amount of cav archers. Could wait for them to attack me again, or like we can go and see what Burgundy's willing to do, which is to destroy some watchtowers. Good job, buddies. Keep it up. I know that they, they might rebuild production, but they don't rebuild towers. So we'll just, again, we'll move up, set our trebs up, and we'll, we'll go from there. It's just in terms of sheer fighting skill, uh, not against buildings, the paladins seem like a better choice, which is why I'm mostly building paladins.
And then we're just going to keep making halberdiers to kind of get this fleshed out. We are going to casually move across here. The Hanuk army is arriving, and let's go ahead and... I guess what I could also do is set up uh, a lot of stuff outside their walls. We can get some monks. They're slow, but we'll get them, you know, to sit here out of combat. There's a bunch of food here as well, but setting up right outside of Mets would have been a bad idea. Is there a reason that you all just stopped, or...? Scorpions are actually quite cost-effective against these compositions, that's for sure. Okay, so we're gonna do we're gonna do this. Draw their army out, not engage under their castle. When the gate's destroyed, we'll move up with the Okay, here we go. I don't know why you all stopped attacking, but it's fine. Let the halberdiers get in there. Okay, I'm pretty sure we've got what it takes this time. Okay, very nice. Trebs now move up, go for the castle. Don't engage the castle, please. Just need more frontline support. Halberdiers, I think, did a good, a good job. Oh, also the Roman army is supposed to be appearing at some point. That kind of scares the crap out of me. Oh, there's another castle up here, I see. Let's kill this one and then this one. So we got vision on it. Again, no reason to... Again, we're engaging, I think, under their tower. I got another stable, didn't I? There it is. Okay, now go for this castle. Throwing Axemen don't really scare me. No hand cannoneers, by the way, as expected. Cab archers need to back up. Okay, the important thing is we did get their castle. Unpack. I am so tired of hearing my stuff get taken. We gotta roll in and start getting rid of their production, because that's what's really killing us here. So get up and go for the stable here. We've broken it. Again, I, I feel like I, I'm really bad at sealing the deals. Like, see how many cavaliers they are. Not, ca not even cavaliers, but... Um, But these uh, paladins that they're sending is like crazy. Please engage. So like I think I, I'm I'm producing fast enough. To sort of keep up with this, it's really hard to tell. But, like, they're able to, con like, be pumping out these paladins with, like, at, like, record speeds. So I think what we're going to want to do is turn and fight and try and take out this group. And then I'm going to take several workers and I'm going to move up to the front and just build a ton of new production. It said hit him with the horde. That's what I did. Oh my gosh. Give it a rest. Okay, once again, we'll come back.
And don't tell me that Tarkins were the answer. Don't, don't even say it. Honestly, I think we're just gotta be jerks like they are and just make a ton of uh, halberdiers. So let's go ahead and grab barracks. Another barracks. No problem. All right, so again, we're we're in the base. Maybe we want to come down and around this time in order to get to their production, which is like deeper back here. Because again, the, the, their ability to remake as much stuff as they have been has been pretty, pretty wild. Question is, how much have I lost to rallies? I don't know. Steadily build it up again. Let's go ahead and head out. It's Again, it's their paladins that really clean us up. So interestingly enough, I, I think we just make a bunch of halberdiers because that's what chases down our trebs, etc., etc. Speaking of those, let's go ahead and build more. The horde has been rebuilt. Again, my economy's fine, so like I can just rebuild this stuff. I don't want to say infinitely, though, um, but we can rebuild stuff very fast. But then again, so can they. We're way ahead of them in terms of score. I guess we're doubled with Burgundy? I, I don't know. Anyway, I've been meaning to watch a video that's supposed to explain what the heck these scores even mean. But if someone could explain it to me in layman's terms, that would be really helpful. So let's make sure that the Halberdiers are in the front and ready to engage. Okay, here we go again. I guess this, I can see how Tarkins can shine here. In the sense that you can run them in to start sniping these, these structures. Okay, I think we I think we've got things way more under control now. Oh, and Burgundy's coming too. Flipping finally. Let's go. Now make those Tarkins for cleanup. Tarkins are like Zerglings. You build them not necessarily to push through anything in particular, but to clean up. That's the TC. Oh hey. Got a whole nother army back behind my army. Maybe what I need to do is just turn my melee units onto defensive stance, because they just they tend to really run in there and get themselves killed. Get him, Burke! Man, we were on like I was pushing into Orleans at like 35 minutes into the video, and now it's just like become a nightmare. Again, I'm just really, really poor at, at sealing the deal here. I feel like what like once you have a big army, it can evaporate so fast. But it's, it's definitely good to make sure that you're keeping track specifically of your melee units to make sure they're not just running in and getting themselves killed to silly stuff. Okay. Might as well keep building stuff. Uh-oh. Has Orleans at least surrendered? I guess not. 
Well, Joan of Arc will be here in about a thousand years to help, uh... To help protect Orleans, don't worry. Okay, let's stay consolidated, because they're, they're somewhere. But I don't know where. Siege Workshop. I guess it's a lot easier, again, to, like, individually snipe buildings with the Tarkins like this. Like, it's easy to keep track of them, I suppose. And, like, if enemies try to run them down, they tend to still, uh, you know, can kind of hold their own. So there's that. I, I don't know where the Roman... I mean, they're, like, they're here somewhere, right? I built maybe too many Tarkins. They've said you've burnt your last town, but I... Oh, many relics, but I don't know where they're at. Yeah, man, Halberdiers, they, they really killed it. Killed some more of them. Um... So... Where? Defeat the Roman army. Oh, yeah, we haven't technically defeated Orléans yet, so I guess there's that. Ah! Oh, don't attack the gate then. Oh my god. Oh my god. That is so many Teutonic Knights. Is that what they are? Legionaries. Oh, for because they're Byzantines. Oh my gosh. No, don't don't make those. Um I mean, I think they're basically Teutonic Knights. If we can kill their Cataphracts, is that what these are? Well, they're Centurions, but I think they're I think they're just renamed Cataphracts. If we can kill these though, then we can run away from these and just pick them off one by one. That was insane. Roman army is pissed. Dude, look at this god tier cavalry archer micro. You love to see it. I still don't technically have enough to one round these. Paladins, more paladins would have been the right choice. I had more I had made too many halberdiers after having to deal with Orléans. Orleon is still technically alive, I'd like to point out. Also, I had a lot of Tarkins, which were kind of worthless in that whole engagement. Anyway, um, we did that. What did they have? What building did they have? There, that barracks. We'll make Tarkins. Actually, I can make Tarkins out of my stables. Well, that was something, all right. Na na na. And then everybody's favorite clean up the map time. Let's go check up here to make sure they didn't rebuild anything cuz I saw I saw a, an enemy unit come from up here. Maybe they rebuilt. They're still No, they're going down. It's fine. Nope. No, they're going up, but barely. Yes, get that ram in there, Burgundy. I don't know if siege rams would have been the better choice over trebuchets. I don't know. The thing is, like, the rams, you have to get right up in their grill to use it. So, like, if you want to destroy a gate with just a ram, their whole army can clump up right behind the gate and kill you. Whereas the trebs draw their army out to you, which I feel like gives you a much bigger advantage. 
It removes a lot of the defender's advantage. This should this should cause the resign unless they have more stuff. Um, let me pay for spies. Fifty-eight hundred gold. Um. Probably should have gotten that, huh? Okay, there's clearly some sort of structure back here. <laughs> All the gold's been mined out. There it is. With luck, this is the last one. Now ah, they're built. Ah, I think they have more back here. I can't even say that starting from scratch is what caused this to be irritating. It's because this, I mean, that's just the, the enemy compositions are very much tiered against you. Specifically, they build a lot of halberdiers. And this is a cavalry faction, so. That's tough. And their paladins were stronger than our typical, so like we had to zerg, zerg rush them. That should do it. Still no, huh? Yes, okay, good. The old priest hung his head as he related what happened next. And I could tell the weight of the memories caused him great sorrow. Attila would stop at nothing until he reached his fiancée Honoria and his goal of ruling the Roman Empire. The ravaging of Gaul was unprecedented. People were tortured. Their bodies torn asunder by wild horses, or their bones crushed under the weight of rolling wagons. Their unburied limbs were abandoned on the public roads as prey to dogs. Heads on stakes stretched from Gaul clear back to the Danube, from whence the Huns had come. They lay siege to Orléans, for Attila had not much of siege craft since he had faced the walls of Constantinople. But as the Huns set to their fell task, a great cloud of dust appeared on the horizon. Aetius and the Roman army had come. Okay, thank you for just explaining what we just did in the mission. Alright, that was a long one. Again, getting through Orléans took me a while. I I'm steadily getting a little better at this game. I think maybe just the Conqueror's campaigns were geared towards, you know, slightly higher skill levels, whereas like Age of Kings, by the end of it, I was able to really blast my way through. I think, honestly, I might turn off uh, offensive stance, auto offensive stance again, because my cavalry tends to just run forward and, and uh, get pulled into castles and get pulled into stuff and die. So as long as we stay um, clumped up and more clustered, it should be better. A big part of it too is like the enemy was able to reinforce so fast. In the future, what I might do is build that forward castle, build that forward production so that my reinforcements are right there. That might be the right way to go. Also making an offensive castle almost always feels like the right choice. Thanks everyone for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.